This is coming from Petro Kotin, who is the head of Energoatom, the state-owned company in Ukraine that runs the country's nuclear power plants, and from Mihailo Podolyak, who's an advisor to President Zelensky. They say they are seeing signs that the Russians may be preparing to leave. Petro Kotin said that what was being reported to him was what they, that they were looting a lot of things, which made him think that they were stealing whatever they could before getting out of there. But um, Ukrainian local authorities uh, exiled from the Russian-occupied uh, areas uh, where the plant is. Um, so they're in Zaporizhia now rather than Energodar, which is the town where the plant is actually located, which is under occupation. They say that they aren't seeing uh, anything of the sort for the moment. They're not reporting that. So at the moment, it is really a speculation. What's actually happening is that the shelling is continuing, in particular Nikopol on the other side of the river from the occupied nuclear power plant. That's a major Ukrainian industrial city was shelled overnight once again. Some 30 rockets hit the city, though the authorities say that there were no victims in this particular attack. But clearly the violence is carrying on. Um, but, you know, Rafael Grossi, the head of the IAEA, has uh, made several visits and been in close contact with Volodymyr Zelensky and Vladimir Putin. He's clearly trying to do what he can to persuade the Russians to leave the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Maybe his efforts, the details of which, of course, are kept secret by some platitudes that he, he says on TV, are beginning to bear fruit. The Russians, though, are denying it. Dmitry Peskov, Vladimir Putin's spokesman, reacted to these rumors, saying, no, we're not planning anything of the sort. Our forces are staying put, occupying this power plant.